What do we have tonight? I'm feeling a little Italian, so I thought what I'd do today is show you how to make something completely different than any other Italian recipe I've ever shown you. What I'm going to show you how to make is chicken scallopini. Now, I know it sounds like a very fancy name, but it's actually pretty simple to make because all you're going to need is what I have right here. You're going to need some chicken, which you can either use boneless breast, you can use chicken tenders, you can use bone-in chicken breast, or what I've got here are some chicken thighs with the bones. Now, if you do it with boneless, you'll want to pound it, as I've shown you before, between two pieces of wax paper, but this is fine. Actually, a lot of times with the sauce, if you leave the bones in, it makes the sauce even better. I've also got a couple of strips of prosciutto, which is just Italian bacon. It's a little sweeter than normal bacon. So the bottom line is, if you don't have prosciutto, you can just substitute bacon. I've also got some flour, which we're going to use to coat the chicken. I've got some butter. I've got some cheese that will grate on the, the sauce later on. Got some shrooms. Got a little onion. And this happens to be a jar of sun-dried tomatoes. Now, if you don't have sun-dried tomatoes, again, you can use regular tomatoes. But the sun-dried tomatoes just makes the sauce pop just a little bit more. And last but not least, of course, we have wine. Yeah, sorry, guys. Beer just won't cut it with scallopini. Let's take it over to the kitchen and we'll get started. What we're going to do is we're going to take our flour... Put it on our plate, and we're just going to roll our chicken in it. You want to get it coated, but you don't want it, you know, dripping with the stuff. So shake it off a little bit. Okay, the next piece. Okay, the next piece. So you've got them all done. If you run out of flour, now you know why we took a half cut, so we'd have enough. And the reason I'm doing this is later on when we do our sauce, this will not only help to crisp the chicken, but it will also thicken our sauce. We kill basically two chicken birds with one stone. Here we go. You want it, but you don't want it to be... And there we are. You know, put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. We don't need a lot. Just a tablespoon or so will do it. Okay, and here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brown these for about 3-4 minutes on each side. You want to get it nice and brown and succulent, but you don't want to cook the stuff inside of it because, again, we're going to be cooking this in the sauce itself. And also this will give you a chance to clean off your frankenfingers. So I'll be right back. Okay. All right, let's take the chicken out of the pan. And again, it does not have to be 100% cooked because we're going to put this back into the sauce. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit of our red wine and deglaze it. And cook down just a scooch. And we'll pour that over the chicken. pan back on the stove and I'm gonna start adding some butter. Not a lot of butter, just just you know about I'd say I don't know two tablespoons, even a tablespoon and a half. Less is more. We can always add more if we need it. We don't want to over butter it. And I'm gonna start adding in my chopped prosciutto because if you'll notice while I was busy waiting for the chicken to cook, I started getting all of my ingredients ready to go. I'm gonna add some onions. I chopped up a small onion. I may or may not use the whole thing. We'll see. Probably not. Probably a little more than I need. Okay, give that a little stir. And we want to cook this down a little bit before we go to the next step, which would be to add our tomatoes and our shrooms. I've just cut all the shrooms in half, basically. That's about it. Like I said, this recipe is easy peasy, guys. It is very tasty. So we're going to give that about two minutes to brown, and I'll be right back. All right, now we're ready to add our tomatoes. In my case, I'm going to add some sun-dried. 
These are just a little more flavorful than your average tomatoes, but you know, again, if you don't have those, just cut up some Romas and throw them in there. And we add our shrooms. It's already starting to look interesting, isn't it? I can see my uh, I can see my producer salivating behind the camera here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna sweat these shrooms down just a bit, and then we're gonna add a little bit of wine. Then we're gonna put our chicken back in the pan for the next part of the procedure. Now you'll notice I haven't added like a ton of spices. Heck, I haven't added any spices at all because again, I want the flavor of the veggies and the chicken more than I'm looking to make. This isn't like a typical sauce. In fact, the only red that's gonna be in this sauce is gonna be this red. A little bit of glug, glug, glug in a minute. But you'll see at the end, we'll end up with the sauce. And again, if you end up with some extra goodies over here, you don't have to use everything. It's up to you to decide on what the proportions are. But I'm just gonna let these Sweat down just a second or two. Then I'm going to add a little bit of wine. And then we're going to put our chicken back in the pot. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually starting to get ready for that. So let me just add a little wine. And this is going to make a sauce, but we're not talking gallons of sauce here. This isn't like making marinara. Because this is just part of the dish. It's kind of like when you do like a chicken piccata as I've shown you before or chicken marsala. You don't end up with tons of sauce in it, but it's going to have a nice sauce. It'll be enough to be able to put over, so, you know, you can serve this with pasta. You can serve it with ziti. Of course, you could go make some fettuccine as I showed you how to do in my previous episode. I'll give it just a touch more. And again, when we get done, when we look at this thing at the end, we're going to add the cheese and we can add a little bit more wine if we think you need it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little well here, and I'm going to add the chicken back to the dish. And if you remember, we deglazed the pan, we got a little more, got a little wine sauce out of that, so I'm going to add that back in there as well. If we don't waste, we don't waste nothing at Man Cave Munchies. There we go. I'm going to turn the stove down a bit, turn it down to medium low. I'm going to put my lid on it and we're going to let that cook for exactly 15 minutes. Be right back. You can see somebody else is interested in seeing how this dish turned out, so let's take a look. Here we go. What we're going to do is take the chicken out and we'll finish off the sauce. Off. I'm going to use a little bit of grated cheese on it and I like to use a cheese blend so this is got some Parmesan some Asiago and then we're going to use a little this is a little cheese with truffles, truffles. And again you know what this is you know you don't want to be too cheesy but you want to cheese it up a little bit I may give it another tiny little splash of wine So it melts the cheese and thickens the sauce slightly. And then serve it over some fresh fettuccine. Be right back. Here's the chicken. Here's the sauce. 
Manja from Man Cave Munchies. See you next week, gang.